Hello accounting superstars, this is Professor Don Bush from the Accounting Superstar channel. So glad you're here. I've been a professor for about 30 years and a CPA for about that long and I've got great ways to explain accounting. So today's lesson is about direct and indirect raw materials, the journal entries that go uh, that, that are involved with this. Now, I did a previous video and it was a, a, the simplest example that I could think of. So this is kind of a step up, not much, but a little bit. It's still pretty basic. So, but first, um, here, here's a couple of pictures of, of my dog, Chewy. He's not very well behaved. I tried to make him sit, but he, he doesn't sit for very long. So anyways, let's get started. Here we go. So we've got the Sunset Sailboat Company and the Sunset Sailboat Company makes 25 to 35 foot sailboats, beautiful sailboats. Now they need to buy some teak wood for the deck. Teak wood is great for the deck because it's resistant to uh, sunlight, ultraviolet rays. It's uh, insect resistant. Uh, it, it weathers really well. It's a great wood. It's pretty amazing. And so they buy some teak wood for $5,000 and they also buy a whole lot of glue, just tons and tons of glue, uh, probably for the uh, teak wood. So they need to make a journal entry here and the journal entry will be, they're going to debit raw materials inventory for 5,200. That's 5,000 for the teak, $200 for the glue. And they'll probably put it on account. Most businesses do that. So accounts payable, $5,200. So there we go. Now, the raw materials inventory is going to get updated by this journal entry. It's going to be debited for $5,200. Where am I getting that information? Right from here. So there you go. Right there. That's where it comes from. And I'm not going to track the accounts payable in this lesson here. So, so far, so good. Pretty easy. So coming down here, here's what's happening to this teak wood and glue. Teak wood was requisitioned for the boat Summer Breeze. Summer Breeze is the name of a boat that, that they're working on. And uh, they, they took out of raw materials inventory $2,000 worth of teak wood. In addition, glue was removed from the raw materials inventory $30. So they needed some glue to put down the uh, teak wood. Uh, and used to install uh, the teak wood here. Uh, glue is considered to be an indirect material. So here's what's going on. And this is really where the lesson is, is that teak wood is very expensive. Here's, here's a little picture of teak wood, beautiful wood. It's very, very expensive. It's about $30, $40 a board foot. Board foot is 12 inches by 12 inches, by one inch thick, that's one board foot, 30, 40 bucks. It adds up really fast. And so management wants to keep careful track of this teak wood and know exactly how much is being used. On the other hand, glue, not so much. Glue's cheap, you know, it's really not worth the time to track. Like nobody's gonna ask, well, how much glue did you use? Well, I don't know, we just glued it down, what do you want? And so um, glue is, is not uh, expensive or it's not worth tracking that, that much. But it, it is included in raw materials inventory. So here's how it's going to shake out. So what they're going to do, they're going to debit work and process inventory for $2,000. Now that's for the teak wood only, not the glue. And check this out. This, this may be kind of weird, but they're going to debit manufacturing overhead for $30. So why manufacturing overhead? Well, here's what it is. Teak wood the expense of teak wood that costs $2,000. That's something that management wants to track very carefully. Manufacturing overhead, that's stuff that, you know, either they don't want to track that much. It's not that expensive. It's maybe it's hard to track. And so we're going to uh, debit manufacturing overhead for the glue because glue is an indirect material. And the whole thing's going to be credited raw materials inventory for the grand total. So let's go back up here to raw materials inventory and let's reduce the account raw materials inventory. So here we are folks, uh, the raw materials inventory account has been credited for $2,030, which brings us to a balance of $3,170, all right? So the balance in the raw materials inventory accounts, $3,170. That's how much teak, wood, and glue is left in there. Now, in reality, Raw materials inventory 
most likely uh, it contains many, many, many things like fiberglass for the hulls, boat motors, um, rudders, uh, masts, sails, uh, port lights, navigation equipment, it, just all kinds of, of things. So in reality, this raw materials inventory is probably a pretty big number, but we're just keeping it really easy. So, but the point for right now is that we're using up some of the raw materials. They're being put into use. And uh, and the weird thing about it is, and it is kind of weird, it's hard to get used to at first, is that work and process inventory is being debited directly for the direct raw materials, the, the raw materials that they're tracking. And manufacturing overhead is being credit or being uh, debited also. And so it's going to so manufacturing overhead, it's going to take sort of a roundabout route. Uh, work and process inventory directly to the point. So, but anyways, it's all being credited for $2,030. And, and we put that credit right up here in the uh, inventory account right there. All right, so coming down, here's the work and process inventory. Let's see how this shakes out. Well, we're going to debit uh, work and process inventory for two thousand dollars so what that means is the job cost sheet is going to be um, updated here we go for the teak wood because it's being it's a direct material and it's being directly entered into the job cost sheet and also in addition the general ledger account is being updated here also here it is uh, work and process inventory for two thousand now if you're paying attention you're you ought to be wondering, well, what's happening to the $30? Why was it kind of forgotten and left behind? Well, here's the idea, is that we're debiting manufacturing overhead for $30. And so it's going to take kind of a roundabout route here, you might say. And we're going to place it into manufacturing overhead, $30. There it is. Now, in a future lesson, I'll show you how this $30 gets from manufacturing overhead over to the job cost sheet because it all must end up there anyways. So that's why I have an arrow pointing there. And by the way, over here on the other side, I've got direct labor over here. And uh, we'll save that for a future lesson also. Uh, but we'll, we'll learn how to do that. But for now, we're just focusing on raw materials. So the lesson, one more time, one more time, in a nutshell, this is kind of the key right here. Work and process inventory, that's the teak wood. That's expensive, management wants to track it. So it's going to get entered directly into the job cost sheet right here, teak wood, $2,000. And also it's going to get entered into the work and process inventory account. The reason why that happens is that uh, the job cost sheet and the work and process inventory, they've got to match when it's all said and done. When, every, when all the accounting records are up to date, they need to match. And if they don't match, uh, management and the accountants need to find out why. So that's important. So let's see here. Anything else before we call it a day? I think we have it. So folks, uh, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, Hit the like button, the subscribe button. That way I'll know that you like these videos and I'll keep making them for you. Also, um, check out my webpage, accountingsuperstars.com. I've got all these videos listed by topic and they're much easier to find uh, on my webpage. So until next time, over now.